Welcome to the Horror Story Channel, where nightmares come to life. Join us for spine-chilling stories of terror, creepy urban legends, and haunted places. If you're brave enough to face your deepest fears, hit the subscribe button for our latest horror stories. Without any delay, let's jump right into the story. The Haunting of Ravenwood Village Elizabeth stepped off the rickety wooden carriage, her boots sinking into the muddy ground as she took in the sight of the isolated village. A mixture of curiosity and trepidation simmered inside her as she adjusted the straps of her worn leather satchel. The village had an eerie stillness that seemed to hang in the air, casting a heavy blanket of silence over the old stone houses and narrow, winding streets. Her gaze wandered to the surrounding mountains, their peach draped in mist, and the dense forest that seemed to hold the village in an unwavering embrace. The rumors she had heard whispered in hushed voices in the city about this place filled her mind. Elizabeth knew there was something hidden here, a secret locked away within the shadows that connected to her grandmother's enigmatic past. As Elizabeth made her way into the village center, she could feel the eyes of the villagers cautiously following her every move. Their curiosity was palpable, and she sensed their reluctance to approach her, an outsider intruding upon their well godded secrets. A stranger in our midst, a gruff voice called out, breaking the silence. Elizabeth turned to see it all, broad-shouldered man emerging from the doorway of the village's small inn. His piercing blue eyes studied her intently as he approached, his rough, calloused hands gripping an intricately carved walking stick. I'm Elizabeth, she said, extending her hand. I've come here to learn about my grandmother's past. She was born here many years ago. The man hesitated for a moment before taking her hand in a firm grip. Thomas, he replied, I know of your grandmother. She left the village long ago, and her name has become a part of our folklore. What brings you here? Elizabeth hesitated, her heart pounding in her chest. I'm a journalist, she began, and I've heard the stories of the whispering shadows. I want to know the truth, to understand the connection between these legends and my grandmother. Thomas's expression darkened. He glanced around, as if to ensure that no one was eavesdropping on their conversation. This is not a tale to be taken lightly, he warned, his voice low and urgent. But if you truly seek answers, I will help you. However, you must promise me that you'll tread carefully. The shadows that linger here have a way of twisting the minds of those who dare to confront them. Elizabeth felt a cold shiver of anticipation run through her, but she nodded her agreement. She knew that she couldn't turn back now. The mystery was too great, and her desire for the truth too powerful. As they began to walk through the village together, the whispers of the villagers seemed to follow them like a ghostly breeze. Elizabeth knew that her journey was only just beginning, and that the secrets hidden within the shadows would test her courage and determination. But as she walked beside Thomas, she couldn't help but wonder what kind of darkness she was about to unearth, and whether the truth would bring her solace or terror. She whispered a silent prayer to herself, hoping that she would find the answers she sought without losing herself in the process. The morning sun cast long shadows across the village square as Elizabeth and Thomas huddled over a worn and weathered map. Elizabeth's finger traced the lines of the village's layout, her eyes brimming with curiosity. My grandmother lived in this house, she said, tapping a spot near the edge of the village. I want to start there. Thomas nodded, his brow furrowed with concern. Very well but we must be cautious. 
the villagers are superstitious people and they believe your grandmother's house is cursed. He hesitated for a moment before adding, if the legends are true, the curse began with her. As they made their way to the house, Elizabeth couldn't help but notice the villagers stealing glances at her, their faces etched with a mixture of curiosity and fear. She wondered if they saw the resemblance to her grandmother, if they believed that the curse had returned with her. The house stood at the edge of the village, its time one facade a testament to the passage of time. Ivy crept up the walls, and the windows were dark and clouded. Elizabeth hesitated for a moment before pushing the door open, revealing a dimly lit interior. The air inside was thick with dust and secrets. Elizabeth's footsteps echoed through the empty rooms as she searched for any clues about her grandmother's life. She found old letters, faded photographs, and cryptic notes scribbled in the margins of tattered books. Why do they believe the curse began with my grandmother? Elizabeth asked as she rifled through the artifacts of the past. Thomas hesitated, his eyes dotting around the room. The stories say that she was involved in something. Dark. They say she made a deal with the spirits that haunt the village and that the curse followed her to her grave. In her search, Elizabeth found a small, leather-bound journal tucked away in a dusty corner of her grandmother's bedroom. The pages were brittle and filled with her grandmother's meticulous handwriting. She read a passage aloud. The shadows whisper secrets in the night, their voices carrying on the wind like a lullaby. I find myself drawn to them, unable to resist their siren song. Elizabeth looked up at Thomas, her eyes wide. What do you think it means? Thomas's brow creased with worry. The shadows are the spirits that haunt this village, Elizabeth. They are cunning and manipulative. Your grandmother may have been drawn into their web, just as we are now. As the day wore on, they continued to unravel the threads of the village's history. They learned of ancient rites, powerful talismans, and a secret society dedicated to protecting the village from the curse. And at the heart of it all was Elizabeth's grandmother, a woman whose life was shrouded in mystery and darkness. With every new discovery, Elizabeth found herself becoming more and more entangled in the web of her grandmother's past. As night fell, the two retreated to Thomas's cabin to continue their research. The fire crackled in the hearth, casting flickering shadows across the room. Elizabeth's thoughts were consumed by her grandmother and the curse that seemed to hang over the village like a dark cloud. We need to find out more about this secret society, she said, determination burning in her eyes. If we can understand their purpose, we might be able to break the curse. Thomas agreed, his own curiosity peaked. We'll start first thing tomorrow. But be prepared, Elizabeth. The secrets we uncover may not be pleasant. In the silence that followed, Elizabeth found herself contemplating the path she had chosen. The sun dipped below the horizon, casting a crimson hue across the sky as Elizabeth and Thomas continued to investigate the village's eerie past. They found themselves wandering through the ancient cemetery, where the crooked tombstones loomed like silent guardians, watching their every move. As they walked, Elizabeth hesitated for a moment, her ears perking up at the faintest whisper that seemed to emerge from the shadows. She glanced over at Thomas, who appeared to have noticed the same unsettling sound. His eyes narrowed as he scanned the area, searching for the source of the spectral murmur. I had it too, he said, his voice barely audible. But we mustn't let fear control us. Elizabeth nodded, her heart pounding in her chest as they ventured deeper into the graveyard. 
the whispers grew louder and more persistent, as if a chorus of ethereal voices was speaking directly to them. She tried to focus on her breathing, attempting to steady her nerves and push forward. In a quiet corner of the cemetery, they stumbled upon an old woman who was tending to a grave. Her hands were gnarled and weathered, her back hunched with age. She looked up at Elizabeth and Thomas, her milky eyes betraying a deep-rooted terror. You've heard them too, haven't you? She asked, her voice quivering. The whispering shadows, they've haunted this village for generations. The old woman proceeded to recount her own bone-chilling encounter with the spirits. She spoke of a night when the whispers had led her to a crumbling old house at the edge of the village. As she entered the decrepit structure, she had been overcome by an oppressive sense of dread. The air had grown icy cold, and she could feel unseen eyes watching her every move. The whispers had grown louder, morphing into tormented wails and shrieks that echoed through the house, as if the very walls were crying out in anguish. I barely escaped with my life, the old woman said, her voice breaking but I'll never forget the terror that gripped me that night. Elizabeth's breath caught in her throat as she listened to the woman's harrowing tale. Her mind raced with questions and possibilities, trying to understand the nature of the malevolent spirits that haunted the village. Thomas, visibly shaken by the woman's story, exchanged a glance with Elizabeth. We should continue our search, he said, his voice betraying a hint of uncertainty. We must uncover the truth behind these spirits. As they left the cemetery, the moon began to rise, casting a pale glow over the village. Elizabeth and Thomas continued their investigation, their resolve strengthened by the knowledge that they were not alone in their experiences. With each passing moment, the enigma of the whispering shadows seemed to deepen, pulling them further into the heart of the village's dark secret. Elizabeth and Thomas huddled over an ancient, crumbling tome they had discovered in the dusty confines of the village's library. The flickering light from the candles cast dancing shadows on the yellowed pages as the rain lashed against the windows, drowning out all other sounds. Elizabeth carefully turned the pages, her fingers trembling with a mixture of anticipation and dread. As she read, she furrowed her brow, her mind racing to absorb the cryptic information. It says here, she began, her voice barely audible, that there exists a ritual to break the curse that has befallen the village. Thomas leaned in closer, his eyes scanning the text. This ritual involves confronting the whispering shadows in their own domain, deep within the heart of the forest. He paused, a flicker of hesitation in his voice. Are we truly prepared for such a daunting task, Elizabeth? She took a deep breath, steadying herself. I didn't come all this way to turn back now, Thomas. I need to know the truth, not just for myself but for my grandmother and this village. Silence hung heavy in the room as they contemplated the gravity of their decision. Thomas finally spoke up, his voice firm with resolve. Then we shall face the spirits together. I believe the ritual will require certain items to be performed correctly. Elizabeth studied the text carefully, listing the necessary items a silver chalice filled with water from the village's oldest well, a branch from the tree under which the curse was first spoken, and a lock of hair from a descendant of the one who placed the curse. As she finished reciting the list, she couldn't help but feel a pit in her stomach. That last item, Thomas, that would be me, wouldn't it? Her voice quivered with the weight of her realization. Thomas placed a reassuring hand on her shoulder. It seems so, Elizabeth, but you must remember that you are not responsible for the sins of your ancestors. 
It is our actions now that will determine the fate of this village. The following day, they gathered the required items, each step bringing them closer to the confrontation that loomed ahead. With each passing hour, the air seemed to grow heavier, as if the very shadows were closing in around them, whispering secrets that were never meant to be heard. As evening fell, the duo stood at the edge of the forest, the darkness before them stretching out like an abyss. Elizabeth clutched the bag containing the ritual items, her knuckles white with determination. Are you ready, Thomas? She asked, her voice betraying her anxiety. He looked into her eyes, searching for any trace of doubt. Together, we can do this, Elizabeth. We have come this far. Let us face our fears and bring an end to the whispering shadows. With that, they stepped into the forest, leaving behind the comfort of the known, as they embarked on a journey that would test their courage and forever alter the course of their lives. As twilight fell upon the village, Elizabeth and Thomas prepared for their perilous journey into the forest. They gathered their belongings a lantern, a tattered map of the village's surroundings, and the ancient tome describing the ritual. The air was heavy with the weight of the unknown, and their hearts bounded in anticipation of the challenges that lay ahead. Thomas looked at Elizabeth, his eyes filled with a mixture of concern and determination. Are you certain you want to go through with this, Elizabeth? There's no shame in admitting fear. Elizabeth took a deep breath, her eyes shining with resolve. I have to do this, Thomas. For my grandmother, for the village, and for myself. We must face our fears and confront the whispering shadows. The duo set off into the forest, guided by the eerie whispers that grew louder with every step. As they ventured deeper into the unknown, the darkness grew more oppressive, swallowing the last vestiges of daylight. The forest seemed to close in around them, no branches reaching out like skeletal fingers, beckoning them further into the shadows. Elizabeth's thoughts raced as she clutched the lantern tightly. What if we don't make it out of here? What if the spirits are too powerful? Despite her doubts, she pushed forward, her determination to uncover the truth fueling her every step. Thomas, too, was not immune to the growing dread. We're walking straight into their domain, but we have no other choice. We must break the curse. He kept a watchful eye on their surroundings, his instincts sharpened by years spent navigating the treacherous woods. As they reached the heart of the forest, the whispers coalesced into an otherworldly chorus, their voices an intoxicating blend of malice and sorrow. The trees seemed to come alive with shadowy figures, their ethereal forms flickering in and out of existence, taunting the intruders. Thomas's voice wavered slightly as he addressed the spirits. We know your secret, your curse upon this village. We have come to confront you, to break the chains that bind you to this place. The whispers intensified, their volume increasing until the very air seemed to vibrate with their malevolent energy. Elizabeth's mind raced with fragmented images of her grandmother, the village's dark past, and the looming threat of the vengeful spirits. This is it. We must stand our ground, or everything we fought for will be lost. Suddenly, the whispers fell silent, and the spectral figures emerged from the shadows, their translucent forms taking on a more solid, menacing presence. They floated before Elizabeth and Thomas, their hollow eyes boring into the very depths of their souls. With the whispering shadows now fully revealed, Elizabeth and Thomas braced themselves for the confrontation that would decide the fate of the village and their own sanity. They stared down the spectres, 
their hearts bounding in unison, as they mustered the courage to face the darkness head on. The air thickened around them as they stood in the heart of the whispering shadow's domain. The forest seemed to breathe, a heavy and ominous presence pressing in from all sides. Elizabeth clutched the parchment containing the ritual tightly, her fingers trembling. Thomas gripped his axe, his knuckles white with determination. Are you ready for this? Thomas asked, his voice barely audible above the sinister whispers that echoed through the trees. Elizabeth swallowed hard and nodded, her eyes resolute. We've come this far. We have to see it through. They positioned themselves in the center of a small clearing, with no trees surrounding them like a twisted, silent audience. The whispering intensified, the voices of the vengeful spirits growing more frenzied as they sensed the impending confrontation. Elizabeth began to recite the ancient words of the ritual, her voice shaky at first, but growing in strength with each verse. She felt a growing power within her, a warmth that spread from her core to her limbs, battling against the numbing cold of fear. As she chanted, the ground beneath them began to tremble, and the spirit's whispers turned into howls of rage. Thomas braced himself, wielding his axe as a barrier between them and the vengeful entities that sought to prevent the curse's dissolution. Keep going, Elizabeth. He shouted, his voice wavering as he faced the onslaught of the supernatural force. In her mind, Elizabeth heard her grandmother's voice, urging her to be brave and remember the lessons she had taught her. You must face your fears, my dear, the memory whispered. Only then can you find the strength to overcome them. As the ritual neared its climax, the whispering shadows manifested before them, their ethereal forms twisting and writhing in a maelstrom of malice. Thomas fought them off, his axe cleaving through the spectral forms, only for them to reform moments later. Stay strong, Thomas. Elizabeth cried, her voice rising above the cacophony. We can do this together. She drew upon the memory of her grandmother, the courage she had seen in Thomas, and the desperate hope of the villagers as she uttered the final words of the ritual. A brilliant light burst forth from her, enveloping the clearing and piercing the shadowy forms of the spirits. As the light intensified, the whispering shadows let out a final, anguished scream before dissipating into the ether. The earth ceased to tremble, and the once deafening whispers faded to a deathly silence. Elizabeth collapsed to her knees, the parchment fluttering from her grasp. Thomas, still gripping his axe, dropped down beside her, their eyes meeting in a mixture of relief and disbelief. We did it, Elizabeth whispered, her voice hoarse from the incantation. We broke the curse. Thomas nodded, his eyes shining with gratitude and admiration. We did, Elizabeth. We faced our fears and we won. In that moment, amidst the stillness of the forest and the shattered remnants of the curse, they knew they had conquered not only the whispering shadows, but the darkness within themselves. The journey had been fraught with terror, but it had also forged an unbreakable bond between them, born from bravery and the will to overcome the most daunting of obstacles. The first rays of sunlight pierced the forest canopy, bathing the village in a gentle, golden glow. It seemed as though nature itself was celebrating the breaking of the curse. Elizabeth stood on the edge of the woods, taking in the sight before her. The village, once shrouded in an oppressive air of dread, now appeared renewed, as if touched by some invisible, benevolent force. Thomas approached her, his eyes reflecting a mixture of awe and relief. We did it, Elizabeth. We actually did it, he whispered, 
the weight of their victory finally sinking in. Yes, she breathed, a faint smile gracing her lips. We did. Together, they walked through the village, observing the subtle yet profound changes that had taken place. The air felt lighter, as if a heavy burden had been lifted from the shoulders of every villager. Faces that once held nothing but fear and despair now showed the beginnings of hope and optimism. As they passed the village square, a group of children ran past them, laughing and playing without a care in the world. The sound of their laughter brought warmth to Elizabeth's heart as she realized that the village's future generations would grow up unencumbered by the terror that had plagued their ancestors for centuries. I never thought I'd see the day, Thomas mused, watching the children with a hint of wonder in his eyes. When I was their age, my father would tell me stories of the whispering shadows. I would lie awake at night, terrified of the spirits lurking in the darkness. But these children, they won't have to live with that fear. Elizabeth nodded, her thoughts drifting to her own grandmother. I wish she could have seen this, she murmured, a pang of sadness tugging at her heart. I wish she could have known that her suffering wasn't in vain, that we've broken the curse that haunted her for so long. Thomas placed a gentle hand on her shoulder, his gaze understanding. In a way, she's here with us, he said softly. Through you, her story lives on, and the bravery she passed down to you has helped to save this village. A tear slid down Elizabeth's cheek, but she didn't bother to wipe it away. Instead, she smiled at Thomas, gratitude and determination burning within her. You're right, she said. We owe it to her and to everyone who suffered because of the curse, to make sure their stories are never forgotten. As they continued to walk through the village, Elizabeth and Thomas couldn't help but feel a sense of awe at the transformation they had helped bring about. The once stark corners of the village now seemed less ominous. The shadows that had once whispered their sinister secrets now silent and powerless. In the days that followed, Elizabeth and Thomas spoke with the villagers, collecting their accounts of the whispering shadows and the curse that had defined their lives for so long. As the stories unfolded, a tapestry of resilience, fear, and hope emerged, a testament to the power of confronting one's deepest fears and the healing that could come from such bravery. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a warm, amber glow over the village, Elizabeth couldn't help but feel a sense of peace wash over her. The darkness that had once seemed so suffocating now held no power, and the night that had once been filled with whispers was now filled with the sounds of life, laughter, and hope. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching my horror story videos. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and leave a comment below to let me know what you thought. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss a new video. Your support helps the channel grow and allows me to keep creating new content. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate your time and I'll see you in the next video.